Hi. Um, I was in the park the other day and thinking about foot massage and tools and that sort of thing, and I was like, oh, my feet are a bit sore, and uh, I didn't have any tools with me to work on, and sometimes it's my feet are quite tough to work on, and uh, my hands were a bit sore. I couldn't work on my feet with my hands, and uh, I just looked around in nature and found some really interesting tools. So I'm going to show some of them to you today and how to be creative with different tools if you can't find massage tools. Um, yeah. This is something I came across while I was in the park. And uh, if we open that up, we can break that. And this gives us a very good edge. Um, I'll show you this one that I've been using. See how it's, it's a nice blunt edge there? Anyway, we can use that on our feet to get in very deep if we want. Uh, and this is what I found. It was quite interesting. It was just a, a sort of coincidence. And, and it would really, really help just to start working my feet with this tool. These particular seed pods tend to be very, very tough. And I can get right into the various bands of tension that I found. Coming right in here. way deeper than I can get with my fingers. And they're very strong. So always look around in nature for things that can help you. The other thing that I was uh, looking for then is I was like, oh great, I got a, a tool very similar to a Thai massage tool in its strength. Not quite as uh, round, but that's actually quite good because it enables me to get in very deep. Um, and then I was like, oh, what do I use to get into my toes and that's when I came across a feather and so there's a piece of grass there as well so the tip of the feather can act like a chopstick and you can use it like this you can see how precise that is and I can work the, the ends of the bands I consider this point right here to be incredibly important Whew. it's a nice one to take a deep breath on um, the feather tends to be very um, accurate, and these points can hold a lot of tension, okay? In my years of experience of working with people, I found the very tips of the toes to be incredibly important, all right? So we can work our own tips with something like this. And we can then work along the bands. Oh, that's intense. It's great, though. It's just a nice way to do a bit of self-massage or self-massage. It's interesting, that word. I uh, In Australia, we say massage. In America, they say massage. I remember the first time I taught in Massachusetts back in 2001 or 2002, my class said to me, after about three days, what's that word you keep using? I was like, what word? Massage. And they're like, I'm like what? And they're like, it's massage, not massage. I'm like, oh, really? You don't pronounce Massachusetts, Massachusetts. Anyway, that was just something. So here we can work right along. As it comes tougher, again, I would then use my seed pod. All right. And I can get right into that band. So sometimes there's no need to, to use expensive tools. Of course, you don't get any commission out of these things. Like there's no Amazon links to buy these, you know. <laughs> but um, you can find them in nature. And obviously, depending upon where you live and, and that sort of thing as to what you're going to find. But I was just actually in the park thinking I need some massage tools. And I just looked around. I actually think I put my hand on one of these seed pods because it was hidden in the grass, and I just went like that. I'm like, oh, what's this? Uh, oh, like, wow. Oh, okay, let me check it out. Oh, what a, what a great edge it's got right there. Okay. So, yeah, I was actually using the other edge. That's why that other one was a bit different. Okay. So it's this edge. Yeah. And again, I can get right in here. Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Because there's a band that comes from here. So on the big toe itself, we've got several bands. We've got a band coming along here. We've got a band coming here, and then we've got bands on the side here that come in and, and 
add to this Achilles band attention. All right, so various bands, and then of course across the top of the toe as well, we've got another band that's coming in from here. But again, that detail is going to be better done with the feather. So with the feather, I would come in here like this, hold that point, and then roll it. And it's intense. It's a bit like acupuncture. In fact, one of the first ways I learned about how important the end points are of bands was when I got acupuncture, and they actually used a needle to bleed the very tip of my my finger and they said all oh, that drains the energy out of the meridian and I was like wow that's pretty interesting pretty radical um, but yeah that's how I learned about how important points like this one is right in there you go in deep enough and you'll feel it and you're like whoa so that's a important point in acupuncture but certainly in my system of massage this point at the very tip of the toe is one of the most important points okay because a lot of the bands start from right here on every toe, on every finger, thumb. And I just end up holding it for a while. Holding it, letting that energy go in there until it dissipates that feeling of intensity or pain. <sighs> Make the person breathe or encourage them to breathe. Deep breaths, and then you go in a bit deeper, and then you can move along. Oh, that's intense. Whoa. It's good though. And so again, that band, we've got that big toe belly band and the big toe sacrum band that are going to start from there. Big toe belly band is going to come up uh, through here, right along here, and then into the groin and up into the belly, the big toe sacrum band is going to come a bit wider and through here and then come into the sacrum and up the muscles at the back so that's why the origins of them both are in this toe here and right in here and then along the edge of it okay if you don't have something like a feather or you don't have a chopstick you could even use a uh, something like a screwdriver okay so here we got a screwdriver but this is very sharp okay so you have to be very very careful but it's, it's theoretically possible to do that. You can see how, how small a diameter of the end of that is, okay? So we would have to be very gentle, but again, that's not as pointed actually as an acupuncture needle. And then we can hold that. Of course, you wanna just make sure everything's nice and clean. Clean everything after each use. Oh! And again, that deep breathing, it's gonna, you're shifting stuff. It can be very, very powerful, okay? That's what all, acupuncture is all based about, the chi flowing through the meridians. This is also similar in that way. Okay, we may not be using needles, but we're using pretty, things pretty similar, and we're not penetrating the skin um, like acupuncture would, but we're still activating trapped energy. And I believe that it's trapped energy that makes muscles tight. Okay, because if you go, oh, why did, why did somebody's muscles become tight? And what goes, what actually leaves when those muscles loosen, you have to consider, is that just lactic acids, and is it, or is it more? Of course, it is certain acids. By here, I would definitely want to either use my thumb or use something a bit wider, like this. And so, yeah, what I was saying, basically, is like, that's where sort of Western medicine, because they don't really accept the existence of chi or life force or anything, they can't actually explain a lot of things very well. Like, what is it that's creating this tightness? I consider it chi or the, the trapped energy that creates tightness to be like a gas, and a subtle energy, okay? So we do have subtle energies in our body that we can't see. We can't see the air. We can't see gases, but... When gases become compacted, then they create tension, just like in a tire. So it's very interesting. It's interesting to look at Eastern medicine. A lot of my training was in Eastern medicine. 
Okay, we can go up the leg there. So if you do a, a fair bit of just self-care when it comes to massage and working these bands, you'll feel a lot better off. Even me, I don't do it enough. Especially, I mean, I have a 17-acre property here in Australia, so I do a lot of gardening and pushing of lawn mowers and things like that. Okay, so we can follow bands up with our thumb. But the hard work, it's because it's very hard to get my thumb in here precisely. My thumb's quite a wide diameter. I have to press very hard. It would tire out the joints here in my thumb. But I can do that as a follow-up after I've done the detail with my tools. And as I say, you don't need to go searching the world for special tools and things like that. You can find them sometimes in a park. You can find them in your backyard, in your garage. Okay, so I'm following up another band here. This is what I call the, the delta band. And it comes up through here. Okay, so a lot of the time when we have knee problems or we have hip problems or back problems, it's all coming from feet or hands, all right? And often it's the big toe or the thumb that has those problems and it's that tip where we're going to get it. Okay, the tip's going to, because we have a band coming down here, through here, into here, sort of up here, and then we have another band coming up here, and we have a band coming up here, okay? All of them creating ankle problems, that sort of thing, and then up into the knee. A lot of knee operations are unnecessary if people actually work the foot first, got the roots of the tension out. Just like when you have a, I get a lot of uh, weeds in my, in my garden here. There's certain, um, certain grasses that, that, that'll grow that aren't actually good. And to get rid of them, you pull them up from the roots if you don't want those weeds in your garden overtaking all your fruit trees. I got a lot of nice fruit trees over here and I don't want the weeds overtaking them. Okay. And it's the same here. We get the weed out from its roots. All right. So whatever way we do that with a screwdriver, if you live in the city with a feather or with one of these, it's, it's important. Get the, the tension out from its roots. I need to file these heels. I don't know what's going on with those heels. And I get a lot of comments about them, but no matter what, I'll file them away and um, they'll be back within a week or so. So, and even though I've lost like 30 kilos of weight, it still happens. So anyway, but we can do that with toes as well. We do the tip on the other toes. We do here, we do here, we do here, and we do the front. Okay, and then we can, you know, once we've done that, you can click them. Okay, and then, and then we start to loosen up this part of the foot. So it's all like a domino effect. We loosen up the toes, then we loosen up the foot, then we loosen up the leg. Okay. Um, yeah, and we can do that with our hands as well. Hard for me to video working on my hands because I only got two of them. One of them gets worked on, one of them films, and where's the other one to work it? But anyway, um, when we get a chance, we'll show you more about that. All right. Thanks for watching. Oh, I also wanted to mention that we we're, I'm just setting up two more YouTube channels. One is about our gardens, our Rainer Naturopathic Gardens. We've got, um, we're going to start showing more about how to grow food properly, how to grow medicinal herbs, that sort of thing. And then we've got um, Naturopathic Lifestyle as well and so that's going to include ayurvedic remedies it's going to include all sorts of different things because some of them aren't related to massage it might include herbal things so i'm separating my channels out so if you're interested i'll put some links at the bottom of this page